Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Um, I thought we would have a cuppa and a chat. Um, so in today's video, I am going to be having a little chat with you all, talking about the menopause, because I did mention in a previous video, if anybody would like to do that, would like me to do that, um, and quite a lot of you said yes, so that's going to be in today's video, so we're going to have a little chat about that. I'm also going to be decorating for autumn, which I'm a little bit late, but um, yeah, I've had trouble finding things, so yeah, we'll do that later as well. But obviously, it wouldn't be an Emma's Lifestyle video without some kind of haul. So I ha will be popping a Home Bargains haul. Not a massive one, but there is a few good things in there. So I will be popping that onto the end of the video. So if you would like to see what we are chatting about today, get your cuppers and keep watching. So how are you all? I hope you are all well and having a fabulous Sunday. It's beautiful here today. It's lovely and bright. We've just taken Bentley a walk and then I wanted to get back and get filming this video uh, because same as I say, I did uh, mention whether anybody would like me to film a video talking about the menopause and a lot of you actually said, oh yes, please. Um, so like I uh, replied to a lot of you and said, I am by no means an expert. So I want to get at that that out there straight away. I haven't been to the doctors for reasons that we will get to. Um, so yeah, I just want to say that I'm by no means an expert, but what I would like to use this video uh, chat for, if it's all right with you, is if we could perhaps try and help each other. So if any of you are going through the same boat, perimenopausal, menopausal, um, I thought if you could comment below, obviously I'll reply back. We can have a little chat backwards and forwards um, if you're willing to do that and maybe try and help each other out a little bit because same as I say, I'm needing help as well. Um, so it's not that I'm going to be saying, oh, you know, do this, do that. I mean, I wouldn't say that anyway. But um, yeah, I just wanted to get that out there first. I'm no expert. So I'll tell you about my story uh, to do with the menopause, my menopausal uh, story, if you like. Um, so what happened was um, quite a while ago, um, during COVID, I thought I might be perimenopausal because I was having symptoms. So it's quite a long story. So get your cuppers. Let me take let me take a drink first. Wait a minute. So how did it start? I need to get my thoughts in order because that is one of my um, symptoms. Forgetting words and brain fog. So yeah. So where did when did it start? So. I thought I was having some symptoms, so I wondered whether I might be perimenopausal or menopausal. So I sent off to Superdrug Online. My friend told me that you can send off for a blood test and you uh, it's a finger prick blood test that you do yourself, send it back through the post and they then email you with the results. So I didn't go to the doctors for a blood test. Um, it was all when it was a nightmare, COVID, etc. Um, couldn't get a doctor's appointment, really. So I thought, I'll do it this way. Anyway, oh God, it's such a tale. So we did that. I don't like blood, don't like the sight of blood. Bit of a mard ass when it comes to that. Not really, I have to say, with, with anything else, but I am with that. So we had to do that. Oh, and I felt faint. You had to squeeze your blood out, fill up. And you had to give quite a lot of blood. So anyway, did that, sent it off, it came back and it said I was in the menopausal range. So it didn't really specify, it didn't really give me that much detail, but I was in the menopausal range. So that's that. So that's how I know, if you like, because same as I say, I have not been to any doctors. I have spoken to a doctor over the telephone and to be fair, he wasn't it wasn't any use at all, really. Um, he put me off HRT. He said about all the side effects. He mentioned cancer. Um, yeah, I didn't feel like I got any, really, <laughs> any good information out of him. So I haven't had a good experience. It was only over the telephone appointment anyway. 
So what I think I am going to do is I think I'm going to ring back, see if I can get an appointment with a lady doctor and take it from there. So basically, I've had the blood test from Superdrug online. I'm in the menopausal range. I have spoken to a doctor over the telephone, but I didn't get anywhere. And I think I'm going to make another appointment to see a doctor. So that's where I am. My symptoms are night sweats. So sometimes waking up in the night, absolutely wet through with sweat. But it's not every night. It's not all the time. So that's number one. Irritability. Sometimes I'm like... <laughs> that's number two. Three, like I said earlier, brain fog. I mean, I was even wondering at one point, I was even a bit concerned that I might have early onset dementia because my brain is just all over the place. I can't remember the um, names of things. I can't remember what I'm talking about. Um, mind you, this was a funny story to do with brain fog. I was in a shop, bought some sweets and um, obviously uh, the lady behind the till said whatever, £4.50. And I got my card out to pay and I just stood there. I think I was trying to pay telepathically. Um, you know, I thought the money was just going to come out of my account because I was thinking. And I just stood there holding my card, looking at the card reader. She was going, £4.50. And I went, yeah. <laughs> just stood there. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I come back and I went, oh, sorry, I have got to put my card against the... And she went, yeah. Well, she thought, oh dear, we've got a right one here. So, yeah, just silly things, really, like that. Um, yeah, brain fog, word, remembering words. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Um, the other week, I was saying to my husband about, I um, can't remember the word for it now, clothes error, clothes dryer. And I was saying, get the thing. <laughs> and I'm going like this. He's like, what thing? Like, the thing, the, 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 wait, you put your clothes on. <laughs> God, yeah. So, yeah. Bit of a nightmare with that. So, night sweats, brain fog, irritability. Oh, spots. I've mentioned that before on my channel. Just look. Look at this. It's not a nice... I've got make, no makeup on, but I know it's not a pleasant view for you all. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, but spots all around. Not over around this area, but apparently they do call it, I've, I've read, the menopausal beard. Not to do with hair, but to do with spots. But you get it around the bearded area. And I've definitely got that uh, because touch wood, I ha don't really and haven't ever really suffered with spots up until now. Um, so I definitely think that's all hormonal. And oh, another uh, symptom that I had the other day, which I have researched, and it is apparently a symptom of menopause, um, a funny taste in my mouth. As you probably know, if you are regular here, I can't smell and taste. So I can't tell you what kind of taste it was in my mouth. But all I can tell you was it was it was weird. So I'd got a weird taste in my mouth but same as I said because I can't taste it's really difficult for me to describe so I'm, I'm sorry about that but it just felt weird like it was probably like maybe a bitter taste or something like that but it just really felt weird I've had that twice now one day it only lasted sort of a couple of hours and then it went off and then the other time it lasted all day like I was eating my beans on toast at lunchtime and it just didn't they never taste normal because of the lack of smell and taste, but they tasted different, completely different. So, yeah, I'm putting that down to um, another symptom as well. So, yeah, I'm having a quite a different variety of symptoms and I would love, please comment below, tell me how you're getting on, tell me the symptoms, etc. Uh, because, same as I say, I would really like if we could help each other uh, because I'm really at a loss as to... Well, as to where to go with it, really, I'm, I'm just really not sure. Now, the other main thing is obviously periods or lack of. Again, nothing straightforward with me. I've got a big, long tell to tell uh, about that. Because I have had blood clots twice on my lungs, I've had pulmonary embolisms twice. So I am on lifelong blood thinners. So I'm on blood thinners for the rest of my life. So, because I'm on blood thinners, I bruise really easily. I'm always covered in bruises and I uh, bleed really heavy when I have a period, like ridiculously heavy, like getting up between eight and ten nap times in the night to change tampons, pads, etc. Probably too, you know, TMI here, but, you know, bear with me. Um, so, I am on the mini pill, so I don't have periods anyway. 
because I don't want the periods because they are horrendous because of the blood thinners. Um, I'm on the mini pill, so I don't have any periods. So I don't know because I'm on the mini pill, I never have a period anyway. So when I got the result back from Superdrug saying that I was in the menopausal range, I left it a few months and then I came off the mini pill. Didn't have a period for a few months, which you don't anyway, do you? Because it takes a pill so long, I suppose, to get out of your system. But then I started having periods again and again, really heavy ones. So I thought, well, I haven't gone through the menopause. I haven't stopped having periods. So I had a couple of months, two or three months where I was off the pill and having really heavy periods. I thought, I'm not having this. So I went back on it. So that's where I am at the minute. Um, so they are all the symptoms I've had. I've spoke to a doctor on the phone, but not in person. I'm not taking any medication, any HRT. I don't know if I'm still having periods now because same as I say, I went back on the pill then and I've been on it ever since. And this is a few months ago. So I don't know whether to try coming off it again and see what happens. I, don't, I just don't know, basically. I just don't know. Um, so that's why I'm helping. I'm hoping that we can help each other. If I can help you, I will do. But as you, as you can see, I'm no expert. Um, I don't know anything about HRT. So I'd really like somebody to help me out with that. The doctor put me off it on the phone, mentioning about increasing the risk of cancer. I mean, I just, I couldn't, because of the brain fog, I couldn't retain what he was saying, but he definitely said something about cancer and about HRT. And he was kind of, well, yeah, kind of like saying, steering me away from it, I suppose. Um, at the moment, I am thinking I need to make an appointment to see an, another doctor, but I suppose it won't be in person. Well, it'll have to be over the telephone because that's what they're doing at the minute. Um, you can't get a face-to-face -face appointment for love and the money, I don't think. Um... So I, that's what I'm thinking at the minute. So that is my story about the menopause so far. So yeah, please comment below. Tell me where you're at with it. And yeah, hopefully we can help each other out. So that's all about that. Because I know I'm sure some of you aren't interested. You've probably fast forwarded all this bit if you aren't interested in the menopause chat. But you know, um, so next up, I'm going to decorate for autumn. So I'll show you what I've bought, which isn't a lot, uh, but I'll show you what I've bought and where I'm going to put it. So here are my autumn decorations. Um, same as I think I said earlier, um, I've had a real trouble getting um, some autumn decorations. I've seen lots of nice things on people's YouTube and Instagram. And I just haven't been able to get them in my local stores. I couldn't get the pumpkin jar from Home Bargains that everyone was after. Um, I couldn't get the pumpkins that I wanted from Primark. So, yeah, I've been having a bit of trouble. So, this is what I've been able to manage to get. I did get the two pumpkin candles. These were from Primark. I think they were £2 each. Then I got these pumpkin tea lights. These were from the range. And there was actually a set of three, but one of them was broken. Um, so I've ended up with two. They were three, I think there was three pounds 29 for the pack. Then the autumn garland, you get two there. There's two there. And the pumpkins, the little, these little pumpkins, came as a set from Amazon. So I can link those below if anybody's interested in the, uh, the um, garlands and the little pumpkins. Uh, they were from Amazon. And then I bought these two um, candle um, plates from eBay. There was only a couple of quid. Um, there wasn't a lot of money at all. And as you can see... They're mirrored and then they've got this rose gold coppery glittery bit. You could also get that in silver, but obviously I've got copper in my kitchen and that's where they are going. So I bought those just to stand the pumpkins on. Bit small, but um, they'll do. And then uh, for the hot chocolate station, I always decorate that up for Christmas and I wanted to decorate it up for autumn Halloween. But I haven't been able to get any of the pumpkin mugs that I wanted from Home Bargains. Uh, but I did get these two um, spooky milk chocolate bombs. 
uh, from Home Bargains. They was 99 pence each, I think. So, yeah, that's all the decoration I've got. So, same as I say, not lots, but let's put it up. So that's the table all decorated and we've still obviously got uh, spaces for the plates and everything. So I've got um, little tea lights now um, in the tea light holders and I think I'm going to put these in the kitchen windowsill. I think I'm going to keep everything in the kitchen. I think I'm going to, because I haven't got a lot, I haven't really got enough to sort of dot it all over the house really um so i think i'm going to yeah put those two there in the uh kitchen window sill and then i'm just going to uh trim up the hot chocolate station a little bit So I hope you enjoyed decorating up for autumn with me. Same as I say, not got loads of um, decorations, but I got what I could and um, yeah, I thought I'd just keep them all together in the kitchen, seeing as I hadn't got a lot. And it just goes to show that if you see, the, if you see anything, you've definitely got to get it. Uh, autumn, Halloween, Christmas. I mean, to be fair, I haven't even seen the things um, in person that I really wanted to get. It was on people's Instagrams and that, like I say. So yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with what I could get, but at least I managed to get a few bits. So I'm in the autumnal uh, mood now. I love autumn anyway. I don't know about you guys. I know everybody always loves summer, but I really like autumn when it's a, when it's a nice crisp day. I love um, walking when it's a little bit cold, not freezing, but so you can get rugged up a little bit and um, love to see the leaves on the, you know, and all that. Yeah. I love autumn. So that's nearly the end of today's video. Just got the home bargains haul to share with you. I'm just going to pop it on uh, to the end of this video because it wasn't a massive haul, um, but there are a few good bits I did want to share with you all. So now on to the home bargains haul. So I just wanted to pop on and show you all what I got from Home Bargains. So it's not a massive haul, that's why I've tagged it on to the end of another video. So first of all, I got this balloon. Um, and as you can see, it says happy birthday and it's got all polka dots on it. The balloon was £1.99 and the weight at the bottom was 59 pence. This is for my daughter's birthday. So that's the first thing. Then I've got 15 metres of extra long kitchen foil. Let me just get my receipt so I can check the price of that. Um, so I'm not sure how much that was. I usually get my kitchen foil from Aldi. It was 89 pence. Then I got the personal three in one um, washing capsules in non buyer and they were 2 99 and you get 15, enough for 15 loads of washing in there. Then I got the bathroom wipes, you get 50 wipes in there and they're only 59 pence, so an absolute bargain. Then I got some cracked heel balm, this was only 99 pence, I do usually get one um, from Amazon um, that's 
quite a good one but it's more money um but i just picked that up while i was in there because i've run out um and i like to keep my uh, feet to <laughs> try and keep my feet to my heels nice if at all possible so 99 pence for that then these have to be probably my favorite biscuits of all time i absolutely love them they were 99 pence and they are the fox's fabulous Chocolatey milk chocolate rounds. Absolutely love those. Shortcake biscuits coated in smooth milk chocolate. I'm doing a bit of a uh, buffet birthday tea for my daughter. So um, we're going to have um, some biscuits and I've got some other biscuits that I'm going to put out as a pudding because she is actually having a cake that I've ordered for her. Um, so I've just bought a few biscuits uh, to go on the buffet tea along with her cake. Then these are the other uh, biscuits that I got. So I got M&M's cookies. They were 99 pence. And I got the Galaxy Orange chocolate chalk cookies. They were also 99 pence. Then I've got two bars of milk just to wrap up as a little... Um, goodies for her birthday she absolutely loves milk milk and galaxy i think are her favorites so i got the milk alpine milk and the milk bubbly caramel i don't think she's had that one before um, i know she loves this one so hopefully i'm sure she'll enjoy the bubbly caramel and they were 199 each um, and that's 250 grams that's 270 grams so they are big bars of chocolate then moving on, I bought these to wrap up for my daughter to go in her Chris, for her Christmas present. They are the Bubble Tea Bath Fizzers Rainbow, it says. Raspberry, rainbow and pineapple. Um, and I just thought they was a really cute little wrappy up present to put in her stocking for Christmas. Who doesn't love a bath fizzer? And with them being um, sort of uh, decorated up like that with the ribbon and what have you in a cracker. I just thought they were really cute. And they were, I think they were one ninety nine. that's all. Let me just check. Two ninety nine. sorry, yeah, two ninety nine pound pound per bath fizzer. So that's a good price, isn't it? Then I got one of these each, one for my son, the Malteser one, and one for my daughter, the Galaxy one. These will go in their Christmas Eve boxes. They were 99 pence each, and they are instant hot chocolate. You get two hot chocolate sticks with mini marshmallows, and the same one in the Malteser one. And how fab are they for Christmas Eve boxes or for little stocking fillers? If um, anybody likes hot chocolate, they are just ideal, aren't they? And only 99 pence, you just can't go wrong, really, can you, for those? And then the last thing is, obviously, I can't forget Bentley at Christmas. I bought him this pedigree to a fluffy friend. And as you can see, it's like a cracker shape. So this is going to go in his stocking. And it tells you there what's in the pack. You get pedigree rodeo turkey flavour, pedigree jumbo turkey flavour and pedigree dentistics daily oral care. And that cracker was, uh, let me just check. Um, where is it on my list? The one thing I can't find on my list. Pedigree cracker, one ninety nine. That's all that was. So, I mean, you could pay that, couldn't you, for those three individually. So the fact that it comes in a cracker is just, yeah, an added little extra. So that is everything I got from Home Bargain. Today, all talk of the devil has heard his name. Hello. <laughs> so that is everything I got in my Home Bargains haul today. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be fab too. I really appreciate all my lovely subscribers and followers. You always leave such lovely comments and I really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So that's it. Take care of yourself. See you all soon. Bye.